him. Bruno. Bruno. Hey guys, um, it's Authentic Minecraft here coming back with a new video. And uh, today we are uh, going to be doing a map showcase here. And we're going to be doing something called Miller. But we're going to be um, doing a little map showcase on a baseball stadium here. It's not just any old regular roller coaster thing or any like random baseball stadium but this is an actual actual replica of a new of a of an actual certified mlb baseball stadium and that will be miller park and miller park if you didn't know was actually a stadium that was built for the milwaukee brewers so um if you are from milwaukee or from wisconsin in general you would probably know what i'm talking about however if you're a big baseball fan like me as well you would know what this was as too so um right here you'll see the back of miller park we um i spawned somewhere else actually when i was downloading this map when i finished downloading it i came in and i spawned somewhere else so i decided to move to the back so if you spawn if um you check the download link below and you do everything you can to get this map into your minecraft and you spawn somewhere weird um you just have to come to the back of the stadium to to see the if you want to see the start if you want to begin to see miller park for yourself in, in Minecraft, not the actual Miller Park. <laughs> um, I wish I could. Um, I've ac never actually been there before, so I'm just gonna have to go. I'm just gonna have to um, look at everything as I go. So we're gonna start off here. We're gonna look at the glowstone lamps. These are the little glowstone lamps. Um, right here, you're gonna see a little baseball s statue of a what's supposed to be a replica of what you would see outside of bar ballparks. You would usually see like a famous statue of a famous old famous well, former baseball player like um i don't know jackie robinson or you know all those type of historical baseball figures um you'll see these trees here there's not really much going on in the back of the area um you'll see the little flags um the little colorful flags they range from emerald or to lapis and to diamond um you'll see these little trees here you'll see another tree in the back and as for this side, there's not much going on there. But um, yeah, you'll see little doors over here, which you're going to see on the other side as well. So let's go inside. Let's see what it looks like. Um, you'll see the doors. So these are the entrances. Um, you'll see stairs here going up. So if you want to see, um, I don't know, see the game from left field or from a different position rather than from home plate, you can go up the stairs and check it out. Over here, there's not much. It's just a little empty area. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be, this is basically the whole entrance area, and there's a little catwalk structure on the top of the roofs. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. We're about to enter. So here is the door to home plate, um, to the home plate seats. Um, it's, these are the best seats in the house, apparently. They're the most expensive seats. If you know baseball, you would know that these would be the most expensive seats. You have the decks over here you got first deck second deck third deck fourth deck um you'll go over here to home plate and you'll see the little trails to to the dugouts like miller park has so this is like a scale of miller park you'll see the on deck circles you can just go over here so if you were a person who was about to bat this would be your perspective of the stadium this is the away dugout um if you go over here you'll see the all the seating areas these are the lamps um, over here, if you click this little button over here, it'll take you to a random control room on the bottom of the stadium where there's a, just a bunch of redstone controlling things. And you're going to see what that all that redstone is for, and you're going to see it soon. But right now, let's look at the away dugout. And you're going to see this little trail here. You're going to see a little pig here. I don't know why there's two pigs in here. But this, it, you can tell, is the away dugout. You don't have any names on here. It's just like a little, I don't know, just a little whack dugout area which the away players unfortunately have to be in um you'll see the little chairs here the little um the little cub cubbies whatever you call them there and you'll go into here you get out of the away dugout this is what it looks like overall and yeah this is what home plate this is like the little batter's box area this is home plate there's a little villager here Whoop. Uh, <laughs> and i accidentally just assaulted no i actually purposely assaulted a villager and you'll see the same control room button right here in the home dugout so this is the home dugout the home dugout looks really much um more i don't know cleaner and everything these are the pistons 
and these are those are for pistons and these are for fireworks so let's see what the firework button does let's see if it flies anything up let's try it again i don't know i was trying to test this out is there any fireworks coming out no i don't see any oh wait no there was i think it's in the back though okay so there was fireworks shooting off i just need to look into that a little more um after this middle map showcase here so um yeah this is basically it and oh i accidentally broke the doors so while i'm gonna replace them we're gonna i'm gonna see you guys later hey guys we're back here and i have finally replaced the doors so yeah let's get into the home dugout of the milwaukee brewers miller park so it's a little bit dark it's a little bit of a dark trail here this is what tells me that it's gonna be the home dugout is that the trail to the locker room is dark that's what i know but when you go inside it looks all cozy and everything you got the little team colors scheme thing going on you got the little paintings going on you got the sinks you got the little locker cupboards and everything you have actually have the roster names um i'm not so update i'm not a milwaukee brewers fan myself but i i decided to do this map um you know just because it was available on planet minecraft and i thought it was really cool that they could make a replica of this so i don't ex if you if you find out I make a mistake on something about the Milwaukee Brewers, go ahead and correct me. I don't care. Um, so here we go. You have John Axford, which... Okay, so this roster doesn't seem to be updated because John Axford is no longer part of the Brewers. He's part of the St. Louis Cardinals now. He's a closer for their team. Um, but yeah, I guess this uh, map is a little bit outdated. But I, I don't know. Let's go ahead and look at the names. You see some um, household names here. You might see Brian Braun or Niger Morgan, Jose Barras too. Jose Veras is no longer on the Milwaukee Brewers, by the way. He's with the Detroit Tigers. I know that for a fact. Um, Martin Maldonado, Jonathan LaCroix, George Carras. Niger Morgan is no longer part of the Milwaukee Brewers, as far as I'm concerned. Um, you see all these other names. Ryan Braun is suspended. <laughs> Ricky Weeks. I don't know if Ricky Weeks is still there. I'm not so updated on this team, because this team throughout the 2013 season just busted. So I was... Uh, available for news on them but yeah uh this is basically their home dugout and if so if you want to know the different if you're going to download this map on the link below you're gonna see um you're gonna know whether this is the home or away dugout just by looking at the lighting you can add a little bit of lighting for yourself though um so yeah there's just villagers scattered around here maybe i should like spawn villagers all over the seats that'll make it give it a more realistic tone um, so yeah, you can see the first, second, and third decks of the right field area here. First, second, yeah. You see it all here. Let's see what a fan's perspective of the game would be like from here. Yeah, this is what it would look like. And you see the gate, little gate over there. So that way you don't get pelted by a ball when they hit it back. <laughs> yeah, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of those gates. If I were to sit in the bot, if I were to sit behind home plate, that would kind of irritate me a little bit. Um... I don't know it just I, I don't I'm not a big fan of these things big old bulky looking iron I don't know what it is but in at each stadium it's different I guess so yeah I'm just kind of looking at the time here just to get my timing right so let's look at the field let's quit messing around here let's quit rambling over things let's look at the um, field overall I mean it's really cool you see the jumbotron over there and if you look a little bit closely it's not just direct see-through glass you'll see some redstone lamps in there to give it a shaded effect um, to make it m look more like an actual Jumbotron. And you'll see the letters MB on here. And you'll see the little grass blocks. I don't know why that was put there. I'll just have to destroy those later. That came along with the map though. So, I don't know. You'll see the little restaurant. Left field restaurants and everything. You'll see the little seating areas. There's like paintings in there and everything. You'll see decks. You'll see the standing areas. And you see, this is the little slide over here that um, I found i was looking for it and i just found it right now so uh, this is kind of lucky um so yeah you'll see this first you see uh, this whole home run this is where you would catch a home run you see the jumbotron you see i like the most thing the thing i like about miller park in real life is is not the little it, it's there's two things there's two features of miller park that i really like one of them is the slide that you just saw right now and the second one is the retractable roof which you can see over here so i think the person who created this stadium 
did really well like they or one person i don't know how many people were contributing to this but it has to be it's really precise i mean this retractable roof is really cool if only somebody were to have this best redstone I, skills like i don't know somebody who has really good set i mean like really good redstone skills would be able to create a retractable roof that would be able to open and close i mean that would be amazing itself so just to see somebody create or the roof technique the little roof scheme is already pretty cool you see the little foul pole lines here you see the restaurants that slide is the, the second thing that i liked about the miller park itself i like um, I like stadiums that have retractable roofs, kind of like Safeco Field, and I don't know if Marlins Park has one, but I don't know. I like indoor. I like the only indoor um, baseball stadium I don't like is Tropicana Field, and I'm I'm sure not many people like Tropicana Field itself. No diss to Rays fans, but yeah, I I like Marlins Park and I like Safeco Field, just not Tropicana Field. Um, so before I go on with any more baseball facts or opinions i'm going to be going down this slide this slide is not even a slide it's like a stair sort of thing but i like it because it's like a really cool scheme it, they actually got it right that's the slide that they use whenever somebody hits a home run so yeah i like it the mascot goes down there and when somebody hits a home run they go zooming down into the little standing area so yeah that's really cool you see you can see the little the whole park from an aerial view here i don't know if the dimensions the outfield dimensions or the left field dimensions right field dimensions are correct however i'm going to look into that to see if it is if it's not then it's still a pretty good stadium like i'm not ripping anything off of it it's really colorful too um so the, to the person who made this good job i uh, i don't know you see the little dugouts the little bullpen dugouts here to the home i don't know which one's home and i don't know which one's away i'll have to check into that as well but as for now, that's really cool. I like how you incorporated the bullpen. Every time I see a baseball stadium, I see somebody forgetting to do the bullpen. I see that once in a while when somebody forgets to do the bullpen. So that's really cool. So thank you guys. Um, I'm going to be checking back later to give you the finishing details of the stadium. But for now, I'm going to be pausing right here. Hey guys, this is Authentic Minecrafter here. And um, we're back. And um, this is what um, Miller Park looks like at the night for Minecraft. And um, yeah, that's basically it. We're gonna go through here and you'll see some redstone here. This is like water area. I don't know what this is used for. Um, you'll see the soda fountains. You'll see the little rest hot dog stand over here. Golden apple, apple, bread, watermelon, whatever. It's like a little food stand. You'll see the VIP seats. You'll see the little uh, left field seats. You'll see, I don't know, you'll see. Let's, this is basically the fans perspective of what the game would look like if they were sitting in um you'll see center field i mean this looks pretty amazing overall um let's go through here let's go where was that little left field thing you go through here let's see you go through um here and there's i think there's even more stairs down here i just checked it out right now and i found out there's probably more stairs which you can set yourself into to see the game you can also look at the game from here so I think these might be the uh, more VIP seats that you can see the game from. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So basically, this is all of Mar uh, Miller Park. If I forgot anything, I would probably show that later in the video. Um, oh yeah, and I forgot <laughs> just right now the control room. I need to show you guys that because that's one of the most important parts of the stadium. If you want, to, if you want to just like essentially ruin the whole stadium, you would have to ruin the control room because that's how important it is. Um, yeah, if you're a griefer like some people you if you want to just destroy a stadium for fun you go to the control room first because that's the biggest part of the stadium um if to make it work so let's see here let's press this button this will teleport you right into the control room um you see as you can see here 246.5 blah 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 you can see it in the video so here you can check the left field this is where you can just, just basically mess with the lights depending on how you want the stadium to be um, you'll see the home field. I don't know. You'll see like what press box slides, present two presentation room. I haven't seen that yet. Transportation room. So I haven't seen that yet. Let's go up here though. I like this part of the room, of this whole control area. So let's go. Um, uh, let me just try to fit through that little square. I don't know if I'm gonna do it on time. Come on. Okay, there we go. So you look through here. This is the whole redstone area. 
um, this little red, there's like little boxes in here where you can mess with things. But this is the whole redstone area overall. It's like under, this is like under the stadium actually. It looks really big though. So this is where you can teleport to places like the away bullpen, the home bullpen, and everything like that. Oh, and I accidentally did something to that. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> but you can see the redstone command blocks in there. So yeah, I'll have to fix that later, but not now. I don't have enough time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Um, <laughs> we'll have to go up. We'll have to go up. Okay, we'll have to go up. And yeah, this is basically a whole redstone area. So thank you guys. Wait, not not thank you guys. What am I talking about? Huh. So yeah, this is the whole area. Let's go to the presentation transportation room. Oh, I, I, just, I keep on saying... Yeah, this is the transportation room, I guess. So yeah. Um, let's take one last good look of Miller Park. So I'm going to pause it here and I'm going to go there right now. Hey guys, we're back here and we're taking a final look at Miller Park. So, um, right here you'll see the little top air bunk of Miller Park. This is just like a little blank stone area. You can go down there to see what's going on. Um, so yeah, you can go down to that block. This is the aerial view of um, Miller Park. Let's kind of have the chunks update a little bit. Or else I'm going to fall into lava. <laughs> and we'll see the pitching perspective um, here. You'll see the pitching perspective. So if you were a pitcher, that's how it would look like. If you were a third baseman, this is what it would look like. And if you were a second baseman, first baseman, as uh, vice versa, I don't know, etc. It, it'll look similar. Um, this is where the third base coach would stand and everything. So they have these little lines here. So they've gone really specific. The people who created this, I don't know how many contributors, like I've said, have done this um, project. They um, created like these little first base, third base area so they made it really precise this time around and you'll see the little glass areas where you can see VI where the people VIP seats or whatever I like to call them VIP seats just because they're um, just because they're uh, separated from the rest of the fans that are trying to watch the game so yeah this is basically the whole thing guys thank you for watching and uh, thank you for watching the download link in the description below subscribe like favorite do whatever you guys want um and uh you'll i'll come back to you guys for a new video and um yes yeah, really guys sorry for the wait um whatever i i've kind of like i know um this kind of dumb but i kind of forgot to do minecraft videos for like a month now because i've been busy with school and everything i've had tons of homework to do i've had tons of projects to finish i still have homework um later today um so yeah uh I've had stuff to do and I've actually had people in person uh, a few of my subscribers actually asked me uh, when is my next video coming out or did you create a video and I'm like no I haven't had the time so I'm I'm sorry guys it's just it didn't pan out so right so thank you guys for watching I'm come back to you guys for a new video soon of hopefully a new baseball stadium and um, yeah if you guys like this video thumbs it up uh, give it a thumbs up comments if you have any suggestions or anything you want to point out and a favorite if you really like this video and share so i can get the word out thank you guys for watching and this is me authentic minecrafter or short and yeah like i said Shavoy will be god's father mixtape you already know how